Mr. Arnold Vega Fria. To all our loyal Filipino pageant fans, a, pa a pleasant evening to all of you. This is the big moment that you've been waiting for. Tonight, 20 aspiring candidates go head to head to get the chance to win one of the most elusive crowns. As many of you have witnessed during our press conference, these are the very strong contenders who we feel confident about representing our country during the Miss Grand International 2024 Coronation Night in Bangkok, Thailand. With the Miss Grand International's high standards for beauty, excellence, and dazzling productions, we remain, we remain driven by our commitment to put on a show that will surpass the expectations of Miss Grand International founder Nawat Itzagara Grisil and his organization. Tonight's show can be considered a homage to some of the most memorable OPM hits from the 70s to the late 80s. I'm sure that most of you can identify these songs to be part of the soundtrack of your lives since they have become iconic in their own way. Think of this as an intimate disco party where you can let your hair down and dance and even sing along with, if you wish. We want everyone to feel the party vibe and the fun element to make the audience feel that they themselves are very much a part of the show. But amid all the revelry, we still stand united with the Miss Grand International's vision for peace and non-violence and hope that our queens can do their share for that advocacy. There is much to be done in our quest for global peace and harmony. We have already won the battle against hate and negativity on our social media. And we continue to build bridges of peace and harmony among our many pageant fans and followers. In these days of global political unrest and brewing war, I believe that we in the pageant world have one of the most viable platforms for promoting peace and goodwill. We want our Miss Grand Philippine Queens to be more than just a beautiful faces and ambassadors of goodwill. We want them to be our emissaries of peace with their crown as a beacon of hope and a guiding light for suffering and the oppressed. Maybe only then can we truly claim to have a meaningful and purposeful legacy. Later on, we will get to hear our candidates as they share their insights on peace, love, and unity. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the show. Drop, baby.